All right, today's the day. And in this video, we're gonna look at the steering that I've uh, attached to the subframe. But before we do that, I'm gonna go over a couple of items that I'm asking you for some help on. First off, in the Arate, the seats are gonna be fixed and the pedals and the steering are gonna be moving to make for adjustment. Um, now with the seat, I have this um, idea and I know it's been done. I know they use this, this method in uh, racing. So if you have multiple drivers, they make an insert in the car that adjusts. So instead of uh, adjusting the seat itself, when the drivers switch, they just stick this insert into the seat to adjust for the individual drivers. And I know they make a kit. Um, I haven't even tried to find it because I'm kind of doing it a little bit differently anyway. I'm trying to make the seat itself. But what they do is they use a, a resin and saturate a bunch of polystyrene beads and then just sit in it and it takes a mold of your backside. And I'm wondering if anybody out there has actually done this. Um, I have a couple of ideas in mind. Um, using, I know mixing a two-part urethane foam would work really well, but it's pretty fast. I suppose if I chilled it down, got a little more work time, I could get my rear end sitting into it before it expanded and uh, solidified, that might work. Um, otherwise, some urethane mixed with the beads, still pretty fast. Anyway, what I'm looking for is if anybody has done this before, I'm also looking at what I would use for the, a form to uh, just hold this whole contraption together while I sat in it and got the cure going on. Anyway, just curious if anybody's done this kind of a thing out there. Um, another thing, and this one is uh, probably a good one for Trent. I was gonna ask you about this while I was visiting with you, but um, we will do it now. On my steering hubs, or my hubs I should say, I have this little uh, steel piece that's gonna be the receiver for the ball joints. And I went and bought this 10 degree tapered reamer um, to uh, get my 10 degree taper for the ball joints. But I have never used a tapered reamer before. I've only used straight reamers to uh, get more accurate straight holes before. I'm wondering if anybody knows, since I paid really maybe too much money, seems like, for one of these, this reamer, if I chuck it up into the lathe, is there anything for Speed, just mild steel, feed rates, anything like that. I'd like to get this right the first time. I've got six of these things to do and I don't want to ruin this reamer. Anyway, if anybody has experience in that, I'd be curious for a little guidance. And the other thing, back to the seat staying put and the steering column moving. I have this uh, steering assist unit out of a Toyota Prius. I'm wondering if anybody has had any experience with uh, wiring one of these things and not using the original system that Toyota had in the Prius. Um, particularly if anybody knows like taking it an Arduino system, taking maybe the CAN bus um, car speed sensor fed through the CAN bus to an Arduino. Um, they'd be written a sketch that might be able to do something like this take the measurements of the speed and uh, apply voltage when it's uh, below speed. And then when it gets up to speed, decrease that voltage. Anyway, if anybody's had any kind of experience with this, I would like to know. Anyway, those are a couple of questions I have, maybe some help from you out there in YouTube world. Now this whole project kind of goes in cycles. Whereas I do a lot of work here, there, here, and there. And all those things in the end seem to add up into enough video footage to start producing some thing to put onto YouTube. But lately we've been in the downside of that. A lot of little things happening here and there, but nothing really coming along far enough to put together a nice comprehensive video. So today all we have is a look at putting the steering column onto the subframe, building those brackets and uh, tack welding those into place, getting ready to weld that frame up. So anyway, let's go take a look at that. Now, when I usually make a bracket like this, I would usually just lay it out in CAD and have a water jet cut. But in this case, these uh, brackets are gonna take a lot of trial and error fitting. So just laid them out in paper 
with the paper you can of course trim cut and try pieces in the paper so actually laid the paper down put the steering rack on top of it and uh, started tracing it so I could get the shape to match up with the holes of the steering rack cut those out then it's a matter of transferring that information over to the sheet metal I'm going to make the brackets out of now these brackets to stiffen them up I'm going to put a little extra on the edges and put a bend in them so trace the original bracket onto the sheet metal with a piece of soapstone and then once those are original the original section of the bracket is made then I'm going to add another little piece of template that I created that makes the part that fits around the tubing and makes the little flange off the side that I will bend now you didn't get to see it but I would took that up to the brake, put that bend in, and we're going to take that now to the next step with that bend in place is a matter of uh, punching some holes. So put the original template back onto the sheet metal, get my setter punch, mark where it goes. And of course, with the markings in place, just a matter of uh, drilling some small holes, switching over to the step drill bit. Drill them out a little bit bigger to fit those 3 8 bolts. And then you missed a section also via welding those bends, the edges, by doing some grinding, finishing. And that's what it looks like with the bends made into it. Now with my lovely assistant, Jody, I'm going to take it out and tack weld this thing into the subframe. And with that steering rack, tacked in place the only thing left to tack in here is my pickup points and the shock mounting and that subframe is almost ready all right so there you go a little short video today but as i said lots and lots of little stuff building up in the background so there should be a good flood of good videos coming very soon anyway thanks for stopping by hope you come back and see us again